Hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of my Big Fat Journey where this week we have to follow up with where we left off last week with the odd way in that we really didn't know what to make heads or tails of. Four pounds off in one day and this time the weights were completely consistent. Okay, I didn't do it on separate days, I did it on one day and all the weights came in exactly the same. Sometimes there's some variance, this time flat. So I don't think it was the scale. I tend to agree with the majority of you that it was probably the water. That just downing that much water, having it in the system, uh, it just, just didn't get out. What about this week, right? Last week, we either weighed in at a 288 or we weighed in at a 292. So we went right in the middle, 290, right? So we just called it 290. This week, we weighed in at 286. 0.8 pounds, giving us a weight loss from that median weight of 3.6. So really, if it was on the bottom side, like it could have been, uh, then we're only looking at like a 1.6 pound loss, I think. But um, yeah, I will definitely take the 3.6 because that makes me a little bit happier as to where we are. And the one thing that threw me for a loop is that there was a cheat day involved, okay? And I definitely think the cheat day slowed me down a bit, uh, it has to, but I was able to get back into ketosis fairly quickly, and it was nice. The cheat was at Texas Roadhouse, and uh, Texas Roadhouse has a little thing called unlimited rolls. I told myself that I was gonna limit myself to three, see how I felt six rolls later. <laughs> uh, that's why you get an appetizer. You get something a little bit more nutritious than bread. Carbs, love them. Yummy, yummy carbs. Can't have them though. But here's where we're at. We are currently 12 pounds away from the goal, right? And we have five weeks left. Five weeks to lose 12 pounds. Is it doable? Absolutely. Is it gonna be a little bit tough? Absolutely. <laughs> it's absolutely gonna be tough. Had I been going through July 17th and I had those additional two or three weeks, uh, it'd be a different story. I'd feel a little bit different about it, but we don't. I'm pretty sure we can do this. Um, just, it's coming down to the wire a little bit, especially if this was a 1.6 pound loss, but there will be no more cheat days between now and when I leave. So I think we can do this. One thing though that did happen, uh, I bought some shorts and uh, well, go figure, my old shorts didn't fit. So from the old shorts, to this, I now have my new waist size, which is a 44, and I started out at a 58. Borderline, probably more so 60. So I've lost a substantial amount of inches. <laughs> lost 14 inches. That's that's big. Uh, it's also really big in the fact that I can actually buy pants at like about 12 bucks less than what I used to. It's nice. The bigger you go, the more expensive they get. One other thing that was kind of interesting at work is there's a really, really tiny gap. And I've had some fun with seeing tiny gaps and being like, can I fit there? Can I fit there? And sure enough, it was a tight squeeze, but I was able to fit there in that little tiny gap. And it was it's just interesting how I have to reconfigure my cat whisker reflexes of like, can I fit here? Yes, I can now. I need to get that back on track that I can fit in more spots now. And it's just, it's, it's so interesting, so weird. Because the change happened so fast that I have to tell myself, no, this is okay. It's gonna be interesting to see how long it takes me to adjust into where I can fit, where I can't fit and whatnot. But overall, I think that's about it for reporting on this week. Just had a decent loss. I mean, a guaranteed decent loss. Really was worried about that 292.4. In which case, if it was that, then this was a massive loss even with a cheat day. So I'm thinking we're, we were probably at that 288. We only had a 1.6 pound loss. But we, we know where we're at currently, which is the important thing. And I made sure not to overdo the water last night because I was like, I want to do more water. But I'll limit myself to just one bottle. I don't wanna, I didn't wanna overdo it and have another potential mishap with the weights again. But yes, 12 pounds left, five weeks to do it. Five and a half weeks to do it. Is it possible? Absolutely. 
This is gonna be tough. Yes. When do I begin the running? Uh, I think next week. I think next week is when I start. Maybe. Uh, it's all gonna be dependent on weather and whether my area is actually open yet. Um, I can't remember if it's gonna be next week or the week after that they officially I'm clear. Uh, so we'll we'll just wait and see on that. But that's going to do it for this week, everybody. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully we have a really decent week next week. I'm hoping for like a three pounder. I'm hoping for a three pounder. If we can do a three pound, that'd be absolutely massive. And with it being Memorial Day right now, I've been working really, really extra hard at the store trying to maintain everything. Because if you work in retail during Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day, or Fourth of July, you realize. <laughs> the amount of business that you get because it is rough no mercy given by customers but i will see you guys back here next week Goodbye.